Well, it is here. I bet none of us was expecting this quick, but Patnos and his efficiency are second to none. Huge thanks to him for all the hard work. It's greatly appreciated. Today we are looking at the installation and everything you need to know about native port of Kabed on the PS Vita. Let's get cracking! Now, how to install native port of Kabed on your PS Vita. <laughs> I almost got you. If you want to install it, you need to read this or you can still use Google and search for complete package if you wish to. And if you think that I'm too lazy or that I don't care, here is one story for you. Look at this old video of mine. It has 70,000 views and it's still going up, but it is shit video. You know why? Because I intentionally skipped the important parts. And do you know where is the good video? The proper one. It was taken down by YouTube because of violating of community guidelines. So I'm skipping important parts in here too. For the sake of the video not being taken down, I hope you understand this necessary step. So I have used the magic wand and the magic words and the bubble has appeared. I'm like a new age David Copperfield. Inside of the cabinet folder it looks like this and the size is about 1 gigabyte. Let's launch it. On the launch screen it says alpha release, expect issues. So keep that in mind in case you encounter any. I encountered only minor nitpicks, I'll get to it later. Loading takes about 18 seconds, which is pretty good. Then I wanted to check what options are available, but I couldn't click it, so I think they are disabled for now. Then I've chosen save and launched a new game. The initial cutscene is in a bit lower resolution, but who cares about cutscene when the gameplay looks amazing. And it really looks like that. The text is readable, tutorial works without any issues. Then I went to world map and here I have fully overclocked my Vita. That's what you also want to do. You press select and down on the D-pad to bring up the overclock menu and you set it all to the max values for most enjoyable experience. In the readme it also says you need IO plus plugin installed. I don't have it and the game still works fine. Not exactly sure what it's needed for, but I guess it will enhance your experience even further, but it still works even without it. So install if you want to. I went to the shop, I bought second weapon, I equipped it and I went to battle Ruse of an Ooze boss on single difficulty. I was able to beat him in the end after a few tries, frame rate was stable at 30 FPS, it unlocked the stairs and I carried on to another boss. Threatening Zeppelin. I was able to win this one as well. Frame rate was also locked at 30 FPS. Very pleasant experience. I really love these vertical shoot em up levels. Then I went to Botanic Panic Boss, locked 30 FPS as well, I destroyed them, but just on simple difficulty, all of the bosses was on simple cause the game is quite unforgiving and challenging, which is why it is so popular in my opinion. Next, Clip Joint Calamity, locked frame rate, fun boss, took him down and progressed to first mausoleum, which was also running at full speed without any issues. I have won, I have equipped new super weapon, energy beam and then I went to play run and gun level, the hard as hell one. It used to be the slowest one, now it wasn't running at locked frame rate either, but as you can see from the gameplay footage, this is absolutely playable, not just in my opinion, but in general public opinion. It took me like 20 minutes to beat it off the camera, I wanted to get to the new island, unfortunately I found out I would have to beat all the bosses on regular difficulty to get there, so no luck in there. I gave up and I worked on this video instead. Now let's look at the known issues as of version 0.35, which is this one. Some textures will be low resolution to avoid RAM related issues, possible audio issues, 
clips playing at incorrect volume or glitching, some animations may have missing frames in certain scenes or might be displayed incorrectly like this one when they're giving you the grade but that's nothing and then some levels have a lower frame rate platforming level, B level, genie level still I think for the fact that it is an alpha release it is running above my expectations way above them what do you think? I even went that far that I compared it to Android port and the gameplay and world map looked as good as that for example even the tree was not flickering but on the Android version it flickers it is nothing major but it just goes to show that it is pretty polished experience you know for the fact it is just alpha release the shop graphics on the other hand look slightly downgraded but it is still all perfectly readable so no big deal I even compared it to the Cuphead fun recreation with three bosses only it looks almost identical but the levels in recreations are running at 60 fps here they are running at 30 fps but here you got also whole game available not just three bosses even though they are only at 30 so I guess no brainer DLC is not supported second player multiplayer is also not supported it was dropped in favor of single player performance which was correct decision in my opinion I would much rather play high frame rate single player than you know everything at low frame rate I know many people were eagerly waiting this port myself included in my last video I said it will be coming in a few months but Patnos did it in few days really insane speed if you want to support the creator to show him your appreciation there are plenty ways to do it Patreon, Paypal, Kofi or you can just enjoy the fruit of his hard work that's also a sign of appreciation it's all entirely up to you while we are at the Patreons I wanted to send a one huge thanks to all of my Patreons because they are co-creating these videos big thumbs up to all of these people that I'm gonna read right now upside down like usually Derek Smith, Daniel David, Dalai Lama Joseph Sanander, Wayne Redding, Patnos D, David Grabka, Herman, Raul Gauthier, Nix, Marshmallow, Asi from the NYC, Victor Ginelli, Paul Pepe. And huge thanks to you for watching. I might even do 360. I'll see you in the next one. Oh. Also, almost forgot to mention that when I've changed the weapon in the run and gun level the frame rate dropped quite a bit every time I press the trigger as you can see I've changed it for the weapon with uh, three beams for the short range and as you can see the frame rate was dropping quite a bit I was still able to beat the level so for now preferably you don't want to change weapons you want to use just the um, default one but as always keep in mind this is alpha release so these issues are to be expected Okay, for the outro I thought we need to do some victorious song, but this one is quite hard, so I'm gonna be just improvising. We are the champions, my friends. We'll keep on fighting till the end. We are the champion. We are the champion. No time for losers, cause we are the champions of the world. Do, 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 do.